On Saturday, September 11th, 2021, Russell Westbrook, who will be playing for the Los Angeles Lakers this season, went viral for his choice of clothing. Westbrook posted photos on social media showing himself wearing a skirt and blue hair. In his post, Westbrook quoted rapper Kendrick Lamar saying, don't address me unless it's four letters. There is a lot of occult ritual significance to be found in this orchestrated event. Let's take a deeper look to discover the real meaning behind Westbrook's actions. Before we get into his behavior on September 11th, let's first take a look back at how he came into the league. Westbrook was selected fourth overall in the 2008 NBA draft by the Seattle Supersonics, which then relocated to Oklahoma City and became the Thunder six days later. He signed with the team on July 5th. From the beginning of his career, we can see the ritual magic spell being conjured for Westbrook. The move from Seattle to Oklahoma City six days after he signed points to the Six King or Viking, a reference to the horned god, Satan. The name supersonic denotes something that moves faster than the speed of sound. Because Mercury was the fastest planet as it moved around the sun, it was named after the Roman messenger god. It was said that Mercury can run on land at supersonic speeds, which is why he was depicted with winged sandals. Mercury also carries the caduceus, which can be seen in the lap of Baphomet as well. Remember that as we'll come back to it in a moment. In 2008, he was selected as fourth overall pick. The year 08 and the number four gives us 8-4 and points to Obama's birthday. The name of the team he signed to was the Oklahoma City Thunder. Thunder is accompanied by lightning and the Thunderbolt is another name for lightning. And we know the Hebrew word for lightning is Barak. Westbrook wore number zero, which is the same as the letter O and points to Obama as well. In fact, in 2012, Texas governor and then presidential candidate Rick Perry produced a commercial that referred to Obama as President Zero. Despite all the naysayers, we're predicting failure. Our economy's growing again. No more manufactured crises, no more games. We are headed in the right direction. I love these folks who say, well, this is Obama's economy. That's fine. Give it to me. Zero jobs. Not a single job. No jobs created. Zip zero. People are demoralized. What has happened? Zero new Big jobs. Zero. Change has come to America. President Zero. President OKC zero. also hides his secret. Remember, we discussed the Pepsi is more than OK commercial. Is Pepsi OK? Is Pepsi OK? And I told you then that the commercial was telling you that the OK hand sign was more than just OK and in fact represents 666, the number of the beast. Therefore, the OKC Thunder number zero represents the 666 Christ or Antichrist as Barack Obama. Clearly then, from the beginning of his NBA career, Westbrook has been connected to Obama, the Antichrist. Now let's take a look at his pictures in the skirt and blue hair on September 11th. We have seen other men in sports and entertainment don dresses in similar fashion, like Young Thug, Dennis Rodman, Post Malone, Kid Cudi, and Kurt Cobain, to name a few. Interestingly enough, on April 8th, 1994, Kurt Cobain, the lead singer and guitarist of Nirvana, was found dead at his home 
in Seattle. The date, April 8th, when reversed, gives us 8-4. Again, a reference to Obama's birthday. In the year 94, or 9 plus 4, is 13, the number of rebellion. This also connects to Russell Westbrook wearing his dress, who was drafted fourth overall in 08 by Seattle. The word Nirvana is a concept in Buddhism and Hinduism, which refers to a state of liberation, which is described as perfect quietude, freedom, the highest happiness, as well as the liberation from attachment to worldly suffering. If you've been following my work, you will recognize that liberation is a recurring theme that we continually see in these occult ritual events. Liberation has been a concept connected to Obama through Lincoln and the liberation or emancipation of the slaves. It is important that you make this connection in your mind because it will help you to realize the spiritual significance of liberation and whose liberation, freedom, and setting free they are actually referring to. Remember we spoke about Malcolm X being shot 21 times on February 21st, 1965, which also adds up to the number 21. We then connected the Black Liberation Movement of the Black Panther Party and the Panther 21. We know that the number 21 is 777 and points to the lightning from heaven as found in Luke 1018 in the phrase Barack Obama as a reference to Satan. This all connects to Aleister Crowley's book Lieber 777 since Lieber actually means to set free and 777 represents Satan, the lightning that fell from heaven. Therefore, they are calling for the liberation or setting free of Satan. Don't believe it? I can prove it. Russell Westbrook wasn't the only man to wear a dress on Saturday, September 11th. Rapper Kid Cudi attended the Studio 189 fashion show while wearing a long black skirt. He was also wearing a long-sleeved Nirvana sweatshirt and, like Russell Westbrook, had blue hair. Notice the subtle way they connected this to Obama by the guy dressed in all black wearing a Chicago White Sox hat since Obama is a White Sox fan. Of course, if I had uh, Rivera, I'd get pretty close too. <laughs> My White Sox would get close every year. It was no coincidence that both Westbrook and Kid Cudi decided to wear dresses and blue hair in tribute to Kurt Cobain in Nirvana, which means liberation on September 11th or 9-11.